A Cheyenne man meets the mystery heroes who saved his life after a crash on I-25 in July. A treasure hidden in plain sight at the Thermopolis Museum may be worth more than the museum itself. And the Laramie Wing King and his team have won national acclaim for the second year in a row. Bringing you these stories and more from Wyoming's largest news organization, I'm Wendy Kaur for Cowboy State Daily. Tom Hutchings was near death after crashing his vehicle while driving on Interstate 25 in July. He awoke with no memory of who gave him CPR and saved his life. But Cowboy State Daily's Kevin Kilo reports that with some help from Cowboy State Daily readers, much of the mystery has been solved. He ends up surviving. Someone had pulled him from the car and performed CPR. He had no idea who it was. Well, Cowboy State Daily did a story a few weeks ago about this, and the mystery heroes have been identified. Identified. It wasn't just one person, it was actually three. And Tom was able to thank these men who saved his life. When the three met, the two rescuers told Cowboy State Daily that it was like seeing a man rise out of the grave. But for Tom Hutchings, who said he was giddy when he met them, the two are heroes who were sent by God to be at the right place at the right time. A researcher discovered a treasure hiding in plain sight at the Hot Springs County Museum and Cultural Center a couple of years ago. One of five photos of Harry Longabow, also known as the Sundance Kid, and his companion, Etta Place, was identified as a rare original photo of the pair, and it may be worth as much or more than the museum itself. The photo was taken in 1901 in New York, just before the wanted outlaws fled the country for Argentina with notorious outlaw partner Butch Cassidy. It was one of several donated to the museum from the estate of Minnie Brown, who died in 1940 and was buried in Monument Hill in Thermopolis. There have been some discussions of selling the photograph, but so far the consensus seems to be that the photograph belongs in Thermopolis, where Cassidy and the Sundance Kid were once regular figures. The winter of 2022-23 devastated the prize herds in the Wyoming range, claiming the lives of up to 80% of the adult deer and most of the fawns. Cowboy State Daily's Mark Hines says a hunter from southwest Wyoming came up with the idea to reward hunters for choosing not to hunt this year, letting the herds recuperate while still funding the Wyoming Game and Fish Department. Zachary Key out of LaBarge, he organized this Let a Deer Walk campaign, which is where people could go out, purchase a deer tag, but then turn it in without hunting deer to enter a prize drawing. I guess he raised right around $43,000 for deer conservation just from people turning in their tags. Key convinced businesses from Wyoming and some neighboring states to donate their goods or services for prizes, including taxidermy work, an ATV, custom pickup improvements, and a whole beef. I'll be back with more news right after this. At Hilltop Bank, we understand that buying a home is a big decision. That's why we're here to be your trusted partner on the path to home ownership. Our experienced mortgage team will guide you every step of the way, from pre-approval to closing. We offer competitive rates and a wide variety of home loan options to best suit your needs. With our local knowledge and personalized service, you'll feel confident and comfortable throughout the entire home buying process. Contact us today to start your journey toward home ownership. Hilltop Bank, member FDIC, equal housing lender. Well, saying out-of-state electric vehicle drivers don't contribute to maintaining Wyoming's roads and highways, the Wyoming legislature is considering a tax for powering up at top-level charging stations. Cowboy State Daily's Leo Wolfson says the Joint Transportation, Highways, and Military Affairs Committee has passed draft legislation to tax all Level 3 DC fast charging stations at a rate of four cents per kilowatt hour, an effort by Wyoming lawmakers to have out-of-state electric vehicles not paying fuel taxes to contribute to their impacts on on state roads. The only time that electric vehicles in Wyoming are charged tax is when you register them in the state. And the charge is actually a lot higher than most places in our region, but there's nothing beyond that. If it's signed into law, the tax structure would go live in 2025. And Wyoming's Wing King and his Double Dubs crew from Laramie repeated as festival favorites at the 2023 National Buffalo Wing Festival last Sunday in Buffalo, New York. Cowboy State Daily's Greg Johnson reports that Trent Weitzel and his team have been racking up the honors in the last couple of years. Last month, they broke two world records for selling chicken wings. They sold more than 48,000 in a 24-hour period. And in uh, May 2020, it kind of really got the ball rolling when they were featured on uh, diners, drive-ins, and dives. Along with Sunday's festival favorite to cap off the weekend-long competition, the Double Dubs crew won a pair of judged awards for their signature sauces. And that's today's news. You can read about all of these stories and more on CowboyStateDaily.com. I'm Wendy Kaur for Cowboy State Daily.